Hey guys, how's it going? So today I am doing a what's new at the drugstore video and also showing you what I picked up at the Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale. And I'm just going to start I'm just going to start with Bath and Body Works because I really don't have all that much. Um, so first I decided that since I was going back to school, I would pick up some wallflowers and I've never tried these before. I've always just bought their candles and used my candle warmer, but my candle warmer kind of is dying because it's really old and it just doesn't heat up like it used to. So I picked up this wallflower right here and, um, and it's just got a little butterfly right here and to plug into it I got one of my favorite like springtime candles in wallflower scent and it's passion flower and this one doesn't really say what the notes are in this but it, I remember it from last season and it just smells amazing and it's a really good uh, it's a really good scent so I'm really excited to try these out and then the last things I picked up were the last things I picked up were just some things for my car and I got these little scent portables and the clip for the scent portables is just a little peace sign and it's actually in my car now and I got for that um, for the little portable thing I got a couple of the Seaside Escape scent portables and I had this candle last spring too and I fell in love with it I also have Caribbean Escape and that's in my car right now and then I also got a fall scent Cranberry Woods this one also smells amazing I don't know how effective these are they really don't make my car um, smell all that um, you really can't tell um, it really doesn't throw very well in the car I've noticed like it doesn't it's subtle it's there but you have to search for it um, maybe I'm just used to it because people who ride in my car say they can smell it but I can't maybe the scent I'm using isn't strong enough I'm sure the cranberry woods one will be able to be picked up much better maybe the seaside escape will as well so I think the semi-annual sale is still going on I picked these up within the first few days of the sale and there was a lot of there was a, a lot of stuff at the semi-annual sale that I really needed Black Raspberry Vanilla was there, but I decided I didn't need to pick it up because I still have some of the shower gel and lotion. And the other scents that they had brought back I just really wasn't interested in. So this is pretty much all I picked up from the sale. Um, the candles I wanted went before I could even buy them, so no big deal. I really didn't need to buy much anyway. So now I'm going to move on to some new items at the drugstore. There's a lot of great collections out of the drugstore right now. I didn't get quite everything that's been released, but I will work my way up to it because I am trying to watch my spending right now. So I picked up some things from Ulta, some things from Walgreens. First I'm going to start with the things I picked up from Ulta. And I just picked up the two new Revlon foundations. This is the Nearly Naked Foundation, and I really do not like this. Um, full review coming on this. This really does live up to the name Nearly Naked. I can't even tell that I'm wearing this. It offers me no coverage. Like, it literally, like, melts into the skin to the point where it's not even showing up. And I know that's kind of great for a foundation. You want to appear like you're not wearing makeup. But this doesn't do anything for me. And it was really hard to find a shade that worked for me. Um, lightest shade was too light. And the next shade up was too dark. This is still too light for me. The shade is the shade range is not really good. But like I said, full review coming on this. Next, I picked up the photo ready. Next, I picked up their new photo ready BB cream. And I already did a first impressions video on this. I do have a full review coming as well. This works all right. I'm wearing it today. I really like the finish it gives. The coverage is all right. Not great. Um. Compared to like legit BB creams, like the Dr. Jart one is the only one I've tried, this isn't that great. It's much like a tinted moisturizer. It kind of reminds me of the Maybelline BB cream. In a way, it doesn't quite give me that dewiness that lasts all day. I'll look... Yes? Hi. Uh, I'm going to make some chicken noodle soup. No thanks. Okay. Thank you anyway. Um, so yeah, this is an alright BB cream. I don't know if I'll repurchase it. Uh, we'll see. I'm still playing with it, trying to see if I can get a, like, if I can get it to look the way I want all day. 
Yes, some new things from that I picked up at Walgreens. I picked up some of the new L'Oreal Caress Lid Gloss. I don't know what these are actually really called. Do I have a receipt here somewhere? No. Um, anyway, these are the new dupes, drugstore dupes for the YSL lip stains, and I actually kind of really like these. The applicator is like a doe foot, but it's um, bent, so you get some really great control. These are really nice. They are really moisturizing. I thought as a stain that these would like make my lips feel really dry, but they are like lip gloss in the fact that they are they remain kind of um, wet and shiny throughout the day. So here is this swatch of Infinite Fuchsia, and this is my favorite one that I have. I only picked up two because they were buy one get one free, but I'm definitely thinking of going picking up more. And this one is Rose On and On. And this is just a light pink color. And these go on kind of sheer, so I do definitely have to build them up. So I will put maybe three or four coats on to get the opaque, opacity, opaqueness, insert correct word here, of, um, so I will build them up to get the color that I want. Uh, I definitely like this, uh, Infinite Fuchsia more than the Rose On and On because I do like the darker lip colors, but this one is really great for, like, if you're looking for a casual daytime look. But of course, you know, I like my darker colors, as you can see that I'm wearing right now. Okay, so these are really great. Let me know if you want to review on these. I will probably just review these on my blog, though. Maybe when I get some more. I picked up the... Let me put this back in the packaging here. Oh, I can't. So I decided to pick up the new Maybelline Rocket Value Mascara. I have never used a Maybelline mascara before. Let me just put that out there. Uh, I've heard I've never heard any really great things about them. I've always heard that they're wet mascaras and I don't know what persuaded me to buy this one because it also is very wet but I heard somebody compare it to the uh, I heard somebody compare this to the Benefit Bad Gal Lash so I picked it up thinking that maybe I could find a drugstore alternative to that. The bristles are much smaller than the Bad Gal Lash and it's actually quite similar I feel like to the CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion Wand. Um, the bristles are super tiny and it's kind of hard to work with. This clumps like no other. I wore this only once and the minute I like put it on I just I wanted it off of my eyes. It clumped really badly and I'm not talking at the ends of my lashes. I'm talking at the very root of my lashes is where it clumped the most. It was really uncomfortable. It felt really heavy on my eyelashes. It felt like I was wearing falsies. Like it didn't look like I was wearing falsies, but they were so heavy. My eyelashes were so heavy it felt like it. And I took this off immediately. I'm wondering if this is going to be one of those mascaras that it needs to dry out before I actually like it. Um, so I guess this will be another one with a full review cover coming, but I just didn't care for this at all. <coughs> okay. Two more, um, two more new products, and then I picked up one random thing. When I was at Walgreens yesterday, I went to Walgreens on two separate trips. Maybelline was BOGO, and I kind of wish I would have waited for this to go on BOGO, but I didn't. Anyway, I picked up some of their new uh, color tattoos, and this is the Inked in Pink. And I looked at all of the colors that they had out, and the other ones I just didn't feel like I needed. There was a blue a silver and um, their new version of Barely Beige, Barely Branded, and I was just like, well, I really don't need any of these, but I really liked Ink in Pink, and this is what it looks like. It's just a very pretty pale, well, not pale, it's just a very pretty pink color. Ooh, I actually haven't opened this yet, so this is really pretty. Um, it's very light, like, it's going to make a really good base, and it's very neutral, um, we'll just kind of even out my eyelids. So this is really pretty and I'm really excited to play with this. Like I said, the other ones I just, I didn't feel like I needed and I wasn't going to buy tattoo, color tattoos that I wasn't going to use. I might actually go pick up the silver one though because I feel like I'd use the silver one a little bit more. Moving on, I picked up something from the new Fergie Wet n Wild collection and originally I wasn't going to pick up anything but I saw 
love they had new blushes and I love Wet n Wild blushes and I wanted to see if this would kind of measure up to the regular blushes and this is called To Reflect Shimmer Palette. Is that what it's really what it's called? Nope, it's called Cham Rose Champagne Glow and it looks really pretty. It looks kind of marbleized, almost like um, a mineral finish. Uh, it almost looks like one of the mineralized finishes from MAC and I thought this would be a really pretty highlight color and here is a swatch and it looks actually applies pretty patchy like you can't even really tell that you applied it. I don't know if you can see the shimmer. I think this is a dud product and I actually heard I know a couple people have done reviews on this. I haven't yet. So I haven't actually used this yet. I just picked it up Wednesday, I think. No, I picked it up Tuesday. I haven't played with it yet. I did swatch it. And it just, it applies really patchy. I don't know if I like this at all. You can't really build it up or anything. But I guess I should just try playing with it a little bit more, see what I think. So the last product I picked up is something that's been in the drugstore for a very long time. And like I said, Maybelline was by one get one half off. So I picked up a Maybelline Color Sensational lipstick and I haven't tried any of Maybelline's lipsticks from this line so I was really excited and I got Bit O Berry Bit of Berry, sorry, and I'm wearing it on my lips right now with a steel lip glaze on top but it's just this really pretty berry color. I am like in love with this and here is a swatch. It's a very pretty dark berry color. I like to, um, oh no, it won't go back down. There it goes. Um, so I kind of like to apply this and then use my finger to kind of blend it out so it looks much more stained. Um, cause I don't know, it just seems like, oh, I just smashed it. Crap. <laughs> uh, anyway, I, um, when I first applied this, I thought it was a little too intense, which is a lot coming for me because I love my dark lips. Well, I like bright red lips. I've never went to the more darker berry or plum kind of lip colors because I was afraid it would make me look kind of gothic, but thankfully this really doesn't. It looks really pretty on. Very, It works with my skin tone very nicely, and I'm really glad I tried this, and I'm really glad I picked this up. Okay, so that is my new things at the drugstore haul. I do have a collective fashion haul coming up at the end of this month. I picked up some things at the Air Apostle Bulldog sale like two weeks ago, but I packed everything up because uh, I'm moving back to college this weekend, so I didn't have a chance. I was going to just include it with this video, but I decided I have a shopping trip planned to Ames at the end of this month or beginning of February, and I'm probably going to pick up some things then, so I'm just going to do a collective fashion haul and look, so look forward to that. I never do fashion hauls I feel like so I'm really excited for it. Uh, so I guess that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a really great day. Bye.